boys and girls, good evening, peace. Some time ago, I watched a video from Dan, Blind All Outdoors. He's down there in the Philippines, nice fellow. He was practicing making fire with a product I'd never seen or heard of. And he says, if you'd like to try some, contact him. He'd send you some. Well, I thought, why not? I did. And the package has finally arrived, Dan. Arrived today, Saturday. Uh, what is today? The, I don't know, the 29th, the 1st? Right around that end of February, 1st day of March. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to show you his information. I'll leave that to him to give you if he wants to. Uh, but I'm going to show you the front of the envelope with pertinent details covered. Uh, it blows my mind. Look at this. Look at the postage he put on this thing. I don't know if those are pennies or, or what they are. Uh, I'm assuming they're pennies. Two cent stamps and one cent stamp and 13 cent stamps. But that's just a guess on my part. But it's a pile of stamps, however you cut it. Now, give me a second here. We're going to turn this over so we don't give away any details. I pre-cut the envelope so that I can pull stuff out one-handed since I'm working without a tripod or anything. This is what Dan called Loot Loot. This was the material in question. And I thought, yep. Yeah. Okay. Loot Loot takes a spark pretty well. Some use it in their fire pistons. I use to catch and hold embers. Enjoy, Dan. So, we will be giving this a try. Uh, that's something I've been meaning to get myself as a piston. I'd love to try it that way as well. This stuff is incredibly light in weight. It's uh, almost, well, weight-wise, it feels like cotton. Well, that's what I've got for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Something called Loot Loot. Now, what Dan tells me, this comes from the Fishtail Palm. And we certainly don't have that in New England. So I'm going to look forward to trying some of this and then adding it to my fire kit. So for now, peace out.